Yeah, hello guys. Um, this is Digitech Mobile Phone Clinic. Um, we have um, Nokia, Nokia Tai 310, the newest version, C1030. Actually, this particular phone is having keypad issue. The navigation button are working fine. The option buttons are not working. The dialing button is not working. One is not working. Two is not working. Three is not working. Four is not working. Four is working rather. Six is working. Five is working. Seven is working. Eight is working. Nine is working. Then. We have star is working, zero and ash is working. So the only keys that are not working is the option button and the dialing button. Then one, two, three is not working. All the rest are working. So just one and two and three is not working. So now I will be losing the phone. So we'll be able to rectify the issue. Um, purely we'll be using schematic diagram to solve the issue so I'll be I'll be I'll be dropping the link of the where you'll be able to get the diagram the schematic diagram how to solve the issue and one of the reason why it's, why this phone is having most of this phone because majority of this phone they always have keypad issue and what normally happens is why it normally occurs is when the tracks go into the keypad if it breaks down that's what happens you can see the middle one is no the middle one is not working those middle keypad are not working the side is working so now we'll be using schematic diagram to solve the issue Another reason why it's why those track break down is due to water damage. If if there is history of water damage on the phone, definitely those tracks is going to break down. And um, usage can also occur. Um, what is it called? We are here will also occur rather. We are here will occur. So once we are here occur on the board, definitely the the tracks are going to break down so for for you to solve the issue you just have to run a jumper wire in order to solve the problem So guys, um, when running a jumper, make sure after running, after soldering the jumper wire, make sure you tip necessary parts just to avoid bridging. Because at times the um, insulator on the on the jumper wire may be failing. That means there is an insulator around the jumper wire that's the copper that's where you see something like brown color on the that's the insulator so at times those things may peel off and once it peel off if you do not tape it properly it's going to bridge to the ground of the board so for you to avoid bridging make sure you tape it while after soldering to avoid bridging So we are trying to track um, tracks that is coming from, that is controlling the one, two, three buttons and the option button. Just one track that is distributing the comments to the to, to those keypad. 
so we are going to trace it now and we are going to show that it's that's the track that's controlling it that's the tracks I'm, I'm scraping so you can use needle something that is very very sharp so i'm using needle to do the scraping so if you have a tool that you can use to do the scraping not so bad you can also make use of it and guys don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like also and don't forget to click the um, bell button so you'll be getting um, notification anytime you drop a video So we are we are done with the soldering. You know it has two boards. There is one board that is up, which is the keypad. It's been stuck with the major board. So so lastly, um, there is a side um, button where our screw. Where we normally tighten our screw is very close to the keypad. So we are going to uh, melt it down with our sodium iron because if we don't do that, the plastic is going to is going to affect our jump wire because that's where our jump wire that hose is where our jump wire is passing. So for it not to affect our workings, we have to just melt the plastic down. So now let's test if our phone is going to work now. You can see our keypad one two three is functioning now so guys um, if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe this is tg tech my phone clinic thank you for watching